Hey there guys, it's Nathan here, just showing off another Marble Run video. So in this one I'm basically going to be showing you partly some of the new tiles that I've got and also the new UI that I've been developing for this. So now we have three different modes, one is um, dropping the marble, one is manipulation, and the third one is our menu. So at the moment the buttons are pretty small, um, this is sort of just yeah, the old proof of concept until I can get actual assets. Um, so with this it's all trackpad based, so um, it's sort of iPod style at this stage to move around, and then um, at the moment blocks are categorized by their size, so if we go into the one by one blocks we get these. So we can scroll down to see all the blocks of that type. Um, these yeah, it creates an asset as well, which just sort of spins. Which is neat. Um, these are just drawn straight out of the assets folder, so these aren't. Oh, well, this is pretty dynamic. So let's say we just want to start with a drop. We just go bam, and now we can place this down. Puts us back into manipulation mode, which lets us just sort of grab it again and yeah, move it around. But um, yeah, so you can put it straight. Obviously, this needs to be made a bit more. Um, easy to grab things just because in this current state yeah it, it's a bit cumbersome to have to go back into the menu all the time into 1x2 wavy one in let's do a drop then yeah so I'll just build a nice course here which should hopefully look pretty cool Three by three. And also, while I've started putting in some more, um, I wouldn't say interactive elements, but like actual useful things. So, let's say this right here. And also, the um, sensitivity of these are just controlled by public variables. So, yeah. You can put in a booster. Which will also be featured in mini golf, just obviously not this type of thing. So a booster can usually get you up two levels. And then we can have an endlessly looping one because we don't need to worry about thermodynamics in here. Oh. Blocks can still go inside each other but that'll be a pretty easy fix. And you can't delete blocks but that'll also be a pretty easy fix. Booster, one more uphill, do an open one, one more uphill. That seems about right. Um, it's pretty slow at that stage, so I'll put another one of these in. In a wavey thing. And finish it up with a uh, curve back to the start. And definitely improving or increasing that sensitivity. Alright, so here's our marble course. We can go back to marble mode now and see how we go. This one can take a while, but it's usually pretty cool. Almost. If you're easily annoyed, then stop watching because this will take a bit. Oh. There we go. Boost up to there. 
boost up, and we're back to the start. And there's our endlessly repeating marble course. Let's throw a few more in. And yeah, so that's Marble Run at this stage. Um, at the moment, I'm not really sure what else needs adding apart from sort of polishing assets and maybe just a couple of extra, like, special track types. Um, a couple of people said they want logic gates, which will be an interesting one, but things like switches and all that are definitely possible. Uh, but yeah, so that's it for this video. My next one should hopefully be out in a few days with um, Minigolf's new menu, which I'm also pretty excited to show you guys once it's ready. And um, yeah, anyway, I'll catch you folks later. Bye.